Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodesh. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, I was uh, I just finished watching a video that um, the uh, the elder brother in London, um, his uh, YouTube handler is uh, GMS Fear the Most High Seven, I believe. Um, I believe his name is uh, uh, Racha Yaquam, but um, he uh, basically had shared a uh, um, a link to a bit shoot video by uh, Ice Age Farmer, and uh, he was going into and dealing with um, the upcoming famines and pretty much the the total oppression, all right, and total control and power grab that we are in right now. Now, with this whole cop was that cop twenty six. You know, this whole COP26 where, uh, um, you know, these elites have uh, gathered, you know, these these uh, face face value elites have gathered, you know, and um, they're all mentioning this and mentioning that. If you're paying attention to what's being said, and you, you know what I find interesting is that they can openly come out and do and say these things. And you know why they feel so freely to be able to do that? Number one, they're running out of time. But number two, they know that the average individual, ask how many people, average individuals, even know about COP26. What well, you tell them, you know what that, well, what's that? You know, they don't even know that there's something like that going on. You let, let alone to even sit there to watch a 10 minute or 30 minute or hour long uh, uh, video of, of what these elites are saying, because they say, okay, well, what is it about? And then you say, oh, well, they, it's a, they call it the climate change, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, we've been hearing that for years. Global warming, climate change, you know, blah, blah, blah. how does that affect me? But then when you actually listen to what's being said, you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. These 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 devils are not talking about, no, what we just want to, you know, help the planet. That's, that's all they're saying, right? Help the planet and we all got to do our part. But wait, what does help the planet look like in your eyes? I mean, they're known as the son of perdition, right? And perdition means destruction. So what business does a devil whose only MO is destruction have trying to, quote unquote, save the planet? Carbon taxation, which is going to be coming up, okay? And changing ultimately the way you live. You know, what they're doing is they're destroying the natural way of things so that your only alternative is their artificial way. And in that destruction process, there's going to be mass chaos and mass casualties. This is a part of them ultimately setting up that the fullness of that beast system. And in this transition, number one, another, an alter, um, another reason for this whole um, worldwide uh, mandate too is it shows who complies and who doesn't because you better believe everybody who complied and took it they have you they well, the second you take it whatever's in it they can track you most definitely they know where you are they know your records they know who you are right and in their big giant database since pretty much anybody here needs to have some form of identification some social security number something they have a giant database that they can run through and see, okay, who has has it and who doesn't? What kinds of people are this? Does this person have any records? Okay, so these are the kinds that are willing to comply. These aren't. So as you come into the next steps, right, the next phase, see that the, the, their plan doesn't stop at just, you know, poking everybody, injecting everybody. Hell no. That's just, that's just one of the phases. Now... If you've been paying attention, you notice that after, like, right before one phase ends, they set up the, the crisis or the beginning of another phase. So you'll hear right in, it's sort of like in the mist or as something else is ongoing, they start slowly throwing out another problem in the ears of the world. And then soon the first problem starts to fade and then this new problem starts to rise to the front. Then that becomes the new calamity, the new crisis, because that's going into the next phase. 
So just as they were talking about this, oh, no, the, the, this crown royale and so on and so forth, then all of a sudden they, they start throwing in uh, a gas, remember, in the UK, right? The gas problem in the UK out of nowhere. Started off minor, started off small. They said, oh, they're going to bring in the, the army. And now it started escalating, and all of a sudden you're hearing about food shortages and uh, you're hearing about uh, um, uh, supply chain shortages. You're like, what supply chain sh- What was that about? Oh, dude, the containers. You know, and they've they've been they've been piling up, but they weren't really announcing it. So now they're now oh oh now is this now now the narrative is shifting. You know, and it's all designed, man, because all this can be resolved light work. But why do you think it hasn't it hasn't been done yet? Because it's a part of, in essence, what they want to do is put people in a chokehold, right? And if you comply and you tap. They release. If you don't, they choke till you die. Now, um, I want to read the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 14. And it says, And he deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Now, his miracles, we know that he's able to do that through his technology, all right, which the Lord has given them to be able to have the ability to, you know, have this, this to invent this and do this and so on and so forth. But they had power to do in the sight of the beast. And the, the beast we know today, this this uh, power structure, all right, is uh, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the European Union, all right, it's being spearheaded by America. But this beast is, is uh, having control, having its tentacles all throughout the world by means of something called the United Nations. Because the beast runs the UN, all right? The other nations have to have to come to the table if they want to have any say or any trade or anything like that to be a part of the system. But they pretty much go with what they have to fornicate with this beast in order to get certain things they need, right? And it says, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should... Now, when you go into the word um, um, saying... All right, let me pull it up actually real quick. Okay, it says here, um, Lego, right? Sound like let's go. It says to say, to affirm over, to teach, to advise, to command, to direct. All right. And so in essence, that's what they're doing. They're coercing and, 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 and basically putting that out there, directing the world Right, them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast. And we know that image is that system which goes back ultimately to the Roman system. Now, they made an image to the beast, but pay attention to verse 14 and 15. 14 says that they said to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. That that system set it up, right? Which had a wound by a sword and did live. Which is talking about the the uh, it started off as the ancient pagan Roman Empire, and that's why a lot of the things you see today goes back to Rome, right? From the 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 the, um, the language, okay, to the certain activities they do, to the building infrastructure, to certain laws, to all of these things. But now you notice in verse fifteen it says, "And he had power to give life onto the image of the beast." So first they made the image of the beast, but then they had to give life. Onto the image of the beast, right? They and, and given life to it will pull it, put it in its full effect. So, the the image of the beast, yeah, we that's the system, and we see that now. I mean, we're we're all living here; we can see the resemblance of ancient Rome now. But now, what we're seeing is them as they're trying to accomplish their new world order. They're giving life to it, saying that because right now, not every country and every nook and every cranny and every corner of the earth is like america you know that's why they're they're spreading you know their democracy all around and they sanction certain people and so on and so forth but what they want to do is when they give life to the image of the beast and it becomes alive and it speaks that's when it says what that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And let's actually look up that word cause. But once it comes to life is when they're going to basically stop anybody else that's not uh, down with this beast, that's not will, uh, willing to 
pay homage, to bow down and comply, they're going to be killed. And the word there is the same word, which is uh, uh, poeo, okay? And it says, um, to carry out, to execute with, de with designation of time, to make ready, right? That's the same word in Revelation 13, 16. So once this image is, 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 is they've given it life, they're, they're going to make sure that, for example, you go to India, and in India, you're not doing the same thing that 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 the 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 beast, the beast system says you to, you're to do. You're done, all right. Nevertheless, it's going to come down even to an individual level because they're going to be seeking out and destroying those that don't comply with this system. Because this 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 image being alive, this new world order comes with do's and don'ts. You know, it's it's almost like how we made a covenant with the Lord in the wilderness to obey Him and get blessed, and to disobey and get cursed. So these devils are saying, your covenant is going to be by taking that thing, that karagma, and if you don't want to do it, we're going to put you to death. We're going to come for you. And if you do do it, then yeah, you can you can be a part of us. You know, we will be your God and you will be our people. In essence, that's what they're trying to do. All right. So this COP26 and, you know, these things, it's, it's, it's them telling you, hey, we ain't got no more time. Everything we're trying to do, people are waking up to it. That's a problem. We need to move, and we need to move now. Okay, that's why they're they're uh, uh, having these things. Because when they people really think that <laughs> when they have these meetings, oh yeah, they're just discussing things that they can do. People don't realize that these are the same devils that are running the shit. What they discuss, they implement because they have the power to. Micah two and one. Woe unto them that devise iniquity upon their beds. And when the morning is like they practice it, because it's in the power of their hand. So that whatever they say, you should pay close attention because they have the power to institute it. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has given them that power so that what? Prophecy may be fulfilled. So they're getting ready to starve people out. And that's why the scriptures talk about Second Ezra 16th chapter, and I believe the 22nd verse, that what? Many that dwell on the earth shall perish of famine. And those that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And these people have absolutely no clue what's coming, man. They're going to starve you to death. They're going to hold you hostage. They're going to choke hold your ass. All right. They're going to set up a complete dystopian society where putting somebody to death is not going to be a, a big outcry and a big issue. All right. They're going to rule or try to rule with, with, man, a fiery iron fist. And that's why the scriptures say, if the Lord didn't speed up the days, there shall no flesh be saved. Because these devils, they, the, 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 because they have such a little time, they have to come down with greater wrath. They have to be rougher, you know? And that ferociousness from that dragon, that, that beast, you're going to see it. The whole world is going to see it. So I'm going to read the last part again, Revelation 13 and 15. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right? So that's what they're coming with. Things may seem like, oh, yeah, it's quiet. And I mean, you know, if we just take the, if we just get poked, you know, we can go and can just comply. You, you think they really just want to stop at, at a poke, at a venom, at a, at a at an injection? No. What? 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 No. All right? It's way much more than that. So people better wake up, but you know what? It's funny because as people are waking up, others are, are getting lulled back in, you know. But this is going to be a very interesting time because they're, 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 they're pushing, but people are waking up fast, very quickly, and that's going to lead to a lot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make it pretty difficult for them to try and bring this thing if they want to do it through deception or without violence. They know they're going to have to come down with violence and great wrath because people are already waking up. All right. And only, our only way out is through Yahweh, the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. The Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. You got to believe in those names. You got to call in those names. And you have to, you have to have faith in that. If not, you're done. There's no hope for you. So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.